A Louisville gardener getting to the root of what her neighborhood desperately needs. WDRV's Chris Suter shows us how she's helping others while overcoming huge obstacles of her own. It's tonight's WDRV Positive. Have they fixed them? It's Jim Givens' job. This actually is a violation. <laughs> to notice what's wrong. I'm a code enforcement officer for the city of Louisville. But it's when he was taking pictures and documenting. Basically try to make sure that the community is well taken care of. That what's right around Fort Haven Road caught his eye. Just was in awe of all the little intricacies, all the work that had been put into it. This garden, back behind the apartments, a kind woman with a green thumb calls home. Everything that you see behind us in this garden has been supplied by her own finances. What she didn't buy, she built. She utilized everything that she had at hand. The tomatoes, okra, and veggies just beyond the fence meant for her neighbors that are struggling with poverty and addiction. Everything is free. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. The gardener herself, Filder Oma, also struggles. She's on a fixed income. In many more ways than one. Oma has never seen what she's grown or the look of relief from the people who were able to eat because of her. I'm totally blind. A botched brain surgery more than a decade ago robbed her of her eyesight, her caretaker explains. The doctor clipped or snipped something that he wasn't supposed to. Every day, I pray, God answer. Oma has always been a spiritual person. I will dance for you now. And she leaned on her faith to help figure out how to adapt to a new world. I always pray every day. And also when she got that diagnosis. She's battling stage four liver cancer. It's why she urges anyone who visits her garden of life to write down a prayer that she can plant. I think that is the best thing I can do for my community. That home inspector that was so taken by all of this did just that. I, it's just, it was an amazing story. My wife's cousin had COVID, very high risk, and I went ahead and wrote him and his wife's name down on the paper. Two to three weeks later, they were out of the hospital, back in great health. I can't help but to not believe that uh, this this may have had something to do with it. A special place created by a special woman to walk with you. who refuses to let what ails her define her. Being disabled is not a disability. I want the vegetable and keep it to you. Allowing I'm others to see more. what it really means to live, even though she cannot. If you, are, you have courage, you can be what God wants you to be. In Louisville, Chris Suter, WDRB News. If you have courage, you can be what God wants you to be. The world needs more filter omas. Yeah, and more it. of that positive attitude despite all those obstacles mm -hmm. because it's easy for all of us to complain and feel sorry for ourselves. Now she's feeling sorry for other people. Greatness in spite of her circumstance. Yeah. That's a good one. Great one. Chris Suter with a great WDRB positive. Another he always one. has the good ones, I right? Know. Gets your heart. Makes it? you feel good about the world. Yeah.